setting up a caravan. There's so many advertisements on the, on the internet. It takes only a few seconds to do this, a few minutes to do that and that, and you are ready for a beer. <laughs> okay, say no more. Now you can see the pressure is lower, and look at the soap. Now you can see the soap, man. Safety. Always, always, gentlemen, ladies, safety. We're going to talk a lot about safety. Safety at the camping site, safety of caravan towing, safety, safety, safety. Now let me first show you a very unsafe act that all of you take for granted and you think this is normal. Tension the whole day. Adrenaline is pumping. You're enjoying the towing. You're enjoying your car. Fuel consumption, time, and, and, and. Now it's the real thing. So the whole family is under stress. The kids grab their bikes and they're off. They don't want to help. Your poor wife, whatever she touch, whatever she do is wrong. And while you are there, inspect 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 that's the purpose of cleaning your own caravan don't take it to a shop this will give you the opportunity to make sure especially if you're my age especially if you retire do not fall at a campsite never and you, sir, with your short temper when you're putting up a caravan, remember this. Hey, good afternoon. Let me take off my glasses. It's time for work. There, behind me, is our off-road caravan. It's called the uh, Conqueror Commander Platinum. And the Platinum is this grey color. Before it had another color, a Bishaki. Something between biscuit and khaki. In any case, today I'm going to start with a series of short videos on caravanning. The way I clean it, take care, maintenance. Oh, here's a short video of the maintenance I performed yesterday. Every uh, few years, I strip the wheels, um, inspect the brake, brake lining system, the brake system, uh, rep uh, replace the bearings, the inner and outer bearings, and the dust seal. That was done yesterday. And I had the help of uh, um, Harry, Harry Chatterton, he came over yesterday afternoon and uh, yeah, it was fun. As I said, taking care of your caravan and then setting up a caravan. There's so many advertisements on the, on the internet. It takes only a few seconds to do this, a few minutes to do that and that and you are ready for a beer. <laughs> Okay, say no more. Yeah, I've performed uh, quite a lot of modifications on my caravan. I wouldn't call it improvements. No, it's personali personalizing our caravan to fit our type of, of holidays, of traveling a lot, staying three, four, five days, sometimes only one night, depends on where we are. We're not setting up a caravan for a month, two months, three months. That's a different uh, kettle of fish. So we've set up this caravan so it's safe, it's easy, and it's comfortable. Here I have replaced the 270 degree awning with a crank awning. And the crank awning is 
you have a handle, you fit it in that hole, you turn it and this awning moves out. Uh, three meter, so it covers quite a lot and it's easy to set up. One man action. Here I have a travel blanket, I've replaced the travel blanket, I will show you later on and explain to you why I've uh, changed the de original design. On that side is half, what you see here is half of a 270 degree awning. That was the awning that was fitted on the other side. I fitted a bracket, there you can see the bracket fitted that bracket so that I can fit this awning onto that bracket. Now the purpose of this awning, it's replacing two tents. It's replacing the tent that was installed there to cover the front bed and replacing this bathroom tent. So with one awning, I can cover both and easy to operate. Here on the kitchen side, those of you guys with the similar caravans, that's the shower. And here's a new uh, flap. That is my air conditioner outlet. I'll show you in the uh, follow-up videos more about this and how I did it. At the back, two jerry cans, but I've changed these Gary, uh, jerry cans into storage. On the one side is all the, the ropes and the pins for the... Uh, tents and this side is all the electrical equipment so very easy to get to when I'm parked this is a shower cubicle that will fold up I will show you how it works later on and then of course let me show you the way I store my caravan my caravan is stored in a, in a closed uh, enclosed garage you can see none of these doors none of them is a uh, fully uh, pulled in and up against the rubber look at this door you see i'm going to pull it up against to seal and that's where i leave it and the reason for that is the reason for that is to save this rubber this rubber doesn't help your caravan is parked for years and years inside uh, or in storage and uh, your rubbers doesn't seal anymore because remember we're using it for off-road look here that was the position and that is fully locked and this is the uh, kitchen of course look at my rubbers perfectly perfectly i also uh, use silicon to spray on the rubbers from time to time i use a high pressure gun I don't show you the name, I'm not advertising anybody. This is a high pressure gun with a chemical tank. There you can see the chemical. I use an all purpose cleaner because I'm cleaning the chassis and I clean the caravan. Remember where you camp, there's always bird droppings. Close all the doors. On this specific uh, high pressure gun, there's two uh, settings. The one is the, the high pressure cleaning, and then by turning the nozzle, that is the soap. Now you can see the pressure is lower, and look at the soap. Now you can see the soap, man. Eh? I only do the soap uh, small portions because it's quite a warm and hot day to prevent the soap of drying. Now you'll see the pressure cleaning. Changing over to a uh, foam.
Now for the interesting part and the must. Cleaning your wheel arches, looking at your suspension underneath your carriage, your, your suspension clean. And while you are there, inspect, inspect, inspect. That's the purpose of cleaning your own caravan. Don't take it to a shop. This will give you the opportunity to make sure your vehicle is in good condition. There's no obvious errors or mistakes. Well, let's start. Soap is applied. Now for the high pressure cleaning. One of the inspections you have to perform. If the tire is nice and clean, look and see if there's any weather cracks. Remember, there's a lot of discussions on tires or the expected lifetime of a tire. Some say three, some say five. This week I visited one of the tire guys here in, the, in town. They said there's new tires from, from a specific manufacturer which guarantees it for eight years. Remember, a caravan, for you to warden the eldest tires, you need 80 or 100,000 kilometers. Huh? There's no force on this tire, it's only running. So look at weather cracks, look at damage. Outside wall, inside wall, it will save you on the long run. I've cleaned the caravan now, all the sides, back, undercarriage, Suspension performed the inspection. I saw there is one cable that this uh, Far East uh, glue from the Far East came loose, so I have to re glue that. That's the small cable, the communication and power cable to the uh, rear ca uh, camera on the caravan. So if I haven't done it myself, you will not notice that. Okay, now the subject is safety. Always, always, gentlemen, ladies, safety. We're going to talk a lot about safety. Safety at the camping site, safety of caravan towing, safety, safety, safety. Now let me first show you a very unsafe act that all of you take for granted and you think this is normal. And that's that silver aluminium piece of junk standing there. That's a step ladder. And the reason why I put it there is so that I can clean the roof, get to the roof. The reason why I first clean the front, now you can see it's dried. Should it be necessary for me to stand on this nose cone, it's dry. It is much easier, much safer, safer act to get onto a ladder at your house. Where your house area is paved where the lawn is cut and you know there's no holes. The caravan is standing basically very close to level. So your ladder will be very close to level. And the campsite. In a campsite, it's different. You drove three, four, five hundred kilometer. Towing a caravan is not a joker. Huh? It's concentration. It's paying attention to traffic, to road conditions, to the trailer behind you, the caravan behind you, which weigh a ton, one and a half. In the case of this Conqueror, 1.7 ton, fully loaded. Plus your vehicle is loaded. Plus you have your family in the car. Now you get to a campsite, three o'clock in the afternoon, four o'clock, five o'clock, and you want to set up camp. 
And that's where the saying come. That's when separation between husband and wife starts. Because you have been under attention. Attention the whole day. Adrenaline is pumping. You're enjoying the towing. You're enjoying your car, fuel consumption, time, and, and, and. Now it's the real thing. So the whole family is under stress. The kids grab their bikes and they off. They don't want to help. Your poor wife, whatever she touch, whatever she do is wrong. The voice, the voice of amplitude or your voice is changing. You start getting more agitated, angry, ends up in swearing, ends up in blaming. And then you want to get onto a ladder. And then you want to get onto a step ladder. You don't pay attention and you want to do something on your caravan on the top before your holiday starts sir you have an accident so change your caravan to a model that you do not need especially if you're my age especially if you retire do not fall at a campsite never and you, sir, with your short temper when you're putting up a caravan, remember this. You've been under stress the whole day pulling that caravan, looking forward to your holiday, worrying about your, your campsite. Who's going to be your uh, neighbors? Will you get along with their neighbors? Is your neighbor a snoring animal? A lot of factors. Can you see where is this uh, step ladder? It's in this corner for protection, for, for stiffness. Take care of what you're doing. It's a friendly warning. Now I feel happy. I've done the inspection at the bottom, all around the caravan. It's a few things that I have to uh, investigate. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop the roof, lift the roof inside. Not standing on any chairs or uh, homemade shift uh, uh, ladders. Easy to reach. There is um, hydraulic shocks uh, connected, so it's easy to push up. Good caravan. A lot of futures that nobody really consider. Many complain about the height of this caravan. Any caravan higher as this, you need step ladders to get awning or the tent rail. Be careful. Safety, eh? Now I'm going to take the hose, just hose down this uh, canvas, no need for a high pressure gun on the canvas. Now it's my trusted friend, wait, let me show you. No, I'm not advertising this product. Huh? This is a blower. We have a blower inside the caravan. When we're touring, we take this blower with us. Easy way to, uh, to clean the caravan inside, outside, the ground sheets. Very easy. Yeah, it's a bit noisy, but if you do it 10, 10.30, 11 o'clock in the morning, nobody cares. I've now opened all the doors, as you can see. I'm going to start blowing, removing any water, doing water, uh, doing inspection inside the caravan. See if there's any leaks. Leaving the uh, roof up so it can dry. Tomorrow is phase two. 
of maintenance, of cleaning, of inspection. That is opening all the, uh, the awnings, uh, especially the crank awning. I'll show you how that works and I'll show you what we found to work for us. And what's the benefit of a crank awning outside? It, it won't fit everyone. If you have children and you're using your big 270 degree awning outside for them to sit and to um, maybe you have your side walls up and for them to sleep we don't have that that requirements this is the door on the on the toilets on the bathroom side here you can see I have a table extra plastic uh, steppies a bag and that is the porta poiki but later about that oh yes I nearly forgot to show you can you see it molten molten tablets Preparing for our next trip, I will now use two tablets, fill up the water tank for disinfection. Once the tank is full with the two tablets, I will run all the uh, water outlets, users, hot water, cold water, here at the, at the kitchen, on the bathroom side, in the front, the drainage, make sure there's no leakages, and then I will drain this water. And when I refill it then for our trip, I will use one tablet. I always use one tablet in a tank. Now this is the kitchen side. This is for the, the two dishwashing holders. Okay, but later about that. This is the stove. And now I'm going to open the hot water first. All right. What I'm doing now is rinsing that high concentration of uh, uh, molten hypochlorite through the system to clean it up and then I will leave it like it. See there's some air bubbles now. You can use cold or hot, doesn't matter. My hot water is faster than the cold and the reason for that is the cold is connected to a reverse osmosis. And that reverse osmosis is inside there. You can hear the pump, huh? still airlock. So that water on the cold system is drinkable through the reverse osmosis. So while this is running, let's go to do the wash basin. And here's the bathroom, the wash basin. Again, that side is running the cold, so let me run the water here. It's now a Thursday, Saturday morning. I'm going to hook up the caravan and then I'm going to go for a hundred, no, 80 kilometer test drive. Uh, that is uh, 40 kilometers out of town towards the last cop and then coming back the, the pass, the mountain from last cop to check and inspect. Sir, don't park your caravan and your towing vehicle for months and then on, during holiday you took it out the day before you pack it or two days or the weekend before pack it and off you go this is stuff that can break even by standing test your vehicle test 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 make sure don't put your family in your car and then you want to test. If you have problems on the road, you have a whole family to look after. You are responsible for your family. Look at my videos. Until next video. Then we're going to look at the caravan, setting up the crank awning, the awning, the front bed. Cheers for now.